Okay, so a student asked a question that, uh, about a, a problem we did today in class, and the question was um, a conversion. And uh, rather, the, the problem we did was a conversion. But the question was um, one gallon equals 3.875 liters, okay? So that was what we did, the, the problem we did in class today. But um, let me, let's make it a little more realistic. Um, it turns out that uh, the problem it's probably going to look more like this, uh, where you have a you know sort of a, a throwaway sentence at the beginning, and then you know you've got a how big are the blank, okay? So I, it was in order to make this a little more spicy, I actually gave it uh, um, a real sentence here, okay? So let's start out with this one. I have big pockets. Uh, my pockets are five-gallon pockets. How big are my pockets in liters? Um, by the way, uh, if this was a textbook, I'd probably give you a visual uh, cue, so a visual. Eight, so let's do this. I drew a picture here of a guy with big pockets. This, I guess, is, is me. I took my glasses off because I, I don't know how to draw glasses. So I have big pockets. Here's Dr. Kopic with really big pockets. And uh, you can imagine all the uh, paraphernalia that you can get into your pockets. You could get marbles and, and hot dogs and, and lots of things you could put in your pocket. If you have five gallon pockets, five gallon pockets. How big are my pockets in liters? So what I said today in class was, let's do this. I'm going to say, well, I don't know how to do this problem. This is surely some kind of conversion, but I'm going to say that my answer is going to be in the units of liters. And so if that's the case, I'm going to come over here and I know that my first term in here, or my last term maybe, is going to have liters as the units. So look up at my question stem and I see gallons and gallons and liters. Okay. Now these two are equal to each other, so that's a conversion. So I see that liters are related to gallons, all right? So my liters are my answer. I don't I want to get that there, but gallons is the only place I've got liters related to or, or uh, in the question stem, liters to gallons. Now, I don't have any gallons in my answer. So since I don't have any gallons in my answer, I want to cross off the gallons. So the gallons are going to have to go here, right? And so I look up here. I already used this one, by the way. Let's go here. I already used that. I can't use that one again. I didn't put use the numbers yet, but I used the the, the units. So let's let's say we have that there. Get this back to red. I'm going to use this one over here, gallons. So now this gallons is not related to anything at all. It's just the actual measurement. And this is a conversion. Okay. Since it's a measurement. What's the denominator of it? It's just going to be one. It's not related to anything at all. All right. So my gallons are going to cross off, and I'm going to have liters in my answer, and that's exactly what I want. So let's put the numbers in here and calculate it out. What number goes here? You should pause the video at this point and predict what numbers go in these different places. Okay. Let me let me uh, suppose that you paused the video, and we come back, and five gallons goes right here because five gallons was up here. What number goes here with liters? It's 3.875, right? That's a 5. What number goes down below? 1, because it's 3.875 to 1 gallons, right? So what's the answer? Well, the answer is 5 times 3.875. I'm going to calculate this in my calculator real quickly. forgot to pull this out in advance. 5 times 3.875 comes out to 19.375. Is that right? Oh, because I put the wrong number in here. All right, it's not 3875, it's 3785. Huh, what should I do? Let's go ahead and change that. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, it's 785. When you're doing this problem yourself, it's 3.785. You don't ever worry about that. You just do whatever the question says, right? 785. It just turns out I happen to happen to remember that it's not 3.875. Right? So this is wrong then. Uh, 5 times 3.785 comes out to be 18.925. 18.925. Liters. Right? Well, that's the answer. It's 18.925 liters. But that's not how we report it. 
why don't we report it like that? And here's the real issue here. This is a significant figures question. Okay, really 18.925 needs to be pared down to one sig fig. Well, if I do that, here's my one sig fig, right? But I have to round. Okay, and so if I'm rounding that, what does that one round to? It rounds to a two. Okay. Now, if I had two sig figs, see, I don't know I have one sig fig because this one, let's see, this number, let's do this in a different color. This number only had one sig fig. This number had how many sig figs? Pause the video and, and tell me. Okay, let me suppose you paused it. That had four sig figs. Well, the answer uh, the, the product, if you've got a one sig fig times four sig figs, the answer can only have one sig fig. That's how I knew. Again, let me say you've got to go back and review sig figs if, you, if that doesn't make sense. So the answer is 18.925 to one sig fig, which has to be reported as 20. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. If it's not helpful, let me, or rather I should say, if you still feel confused about this, you need to go back and review the sig fig rules, significant figures rules, because it looks like I'm asking about how big my pockets are and they're 20 liters, when really the difference between 18.925 and 20 is a sig fig's question. Okay, hope that's helpful, and uh, please keep the